Hey everybody, my name is Leanrath, and welcome back to Valhalla. Last episode, we talked to Say, her friend Stella, and Dorothy, and all of those were very interesting conversations. We left off right at the end of the day, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping. Uh, hmm. We only have 2500 bucks because we just paid rent. But I think we're going to get beer because that seems to be one of the few things that uh, Jill here really, really is passionate about. So let's also... I can't think of anything else that we're going to need money for, so I'm kind of just inclined to buy as much of this stuff as we can. But I think we'll get the Mulan tea and then pass. There we go. Happy birthday, y'all messed up. Okay. Oh, your room does change. Look, we got, I assume this is the beer. Or one of these is the beer and one of these is the tea. I don't know, but those are definitely new. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out. What's D? Oh yeah, Dangerous you. Atlas Rabbit Thread 3. Wait, was there a Thread 2? I think I've been reading these the wrong way. Let's go down to up. Iki Concert 4 in the last thread. No shit posting allowed. Did that one anon left? I think so. I never left. I was just looking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the great, great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, ah, uh, wait, this is old. Is this one old too? Okay, so it's not a full... Okay, so this is the new one. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank? Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? And not me. You're right, though. It might be someone else. I have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right. If only we knew more about the victim now. Literally who? These Alice threads piss me off, fucking East Libs. Hmm, what if it has to do with the terrorism rumors? Thread is closed. Alright, how about the augmented eye? What's up here? I think these are all new, so let's do... You wouldn't believe the shocking cure at Mickey Secret. Today we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's your favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the Augmented Eye. Content blocked in your region. What? How is it blocked in my region when it's in the same fucking city? Bullshit. Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Mickey fan. Everyone loves Kira Mickey, and in a la Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering well, what's my proof for this not so wacky theory, and well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is an easy one. You just. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. Ho ho ho! Crime up 5% this month. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. This Mega Christmas will be a very dark one. The hell is Mega Christmas? Is that just a more, uh... I, I, I can't imagine what you would change about Christmas other than, I don't know, make it longer? Like a, like a gross combination of Christmas and Hanukkah? Uh, I think that's... Are these new? No. 
Well, they didn't have the new tag, so yeah, we'll, we'll call that good. I already did shopping, let's go to work. Friday the 16th. Evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard of gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Eh, well... See, it sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, that sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever, this is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Gil. Hey! <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Well, a tacky online handle is a bit redundant. You know anything about her? No, sorry. I have eighty dollars here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, and I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender, not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have that the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80, it's not even enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course. You want all the deals to be clean, so you need, to need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then give me your drink, but keep it under $80. $80? Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. Hey, spoiler alert, fucking nothing. All of these drinks are ridiculous. That's not... Well, I can just flip through like this, right? Gut punch. You said under 80, so I don't know if that's like 80 or below... Or 80 and below or not. Must not be. 80 on the dot must do it. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Planner guide. Optional karma train. I didn't notice any difference in Say when I pumped her full of. Uh, wait, no, it wasn't Say that I pumped full of karma train, it was Dorothy. Maybe it makes a difference, I don't know, let's see. Let's get this guy hammered. Aged and mixed. Here. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why, the order is right, isn't it? Uh, I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Vondelay. Art Vondelay. Wow. 
<laughs> and they even made it a bald guy. That's amazing. So that's a Seinfeld joke for anyone that didn't pick up on that. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers on internet nicknames. So, who warned you to track her? I don't know, I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going-ons. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe. Not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think we live in? Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. You know something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. So, we will get Mr. Art Von Delay. Grizzly Temple here. All blended. So, why was he so intent on only dropping $80 for information if he's gonna turn around and drop another $220 on a drink? Okay then, this is gonna be deducted from the 80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, the name of the Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. Even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging their organization yet, for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Ah, they can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the class that Idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the Idol that had a show a couple of days ago. Dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. Now, you can clearly hear the clashing of metal. 
Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard that there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I gotta go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. Gangs, then? Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gang steals. The who, what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. Left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. Guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. I'm Streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $99.99 a month, go premium now! Um, It's Friday night and you all know what that means, it's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades! Today's Escapade is brought to you by ShinyFinger.moe Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069 Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code! Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly! Excuse... Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> Fucking go. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter. Tonight, I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he? Really? Right in front of you. Hey, you. Pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. N no way. No hot, shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dress like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yup. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interesting. interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Is that piercing glare I know? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take the top off and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink, a big one, the nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello? Service here, please. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Um. Dude, that Zin, Zin thing. That was a promo drink, and that sounded nasty as shit. I think something so balanced would be actually taste nice, you'd be dead wrong. Yeah, let's do this. Four of everything. Alright. 
and then it's just oh on the rocks and mixed here all right then cheers I don't think you should chug it down so quickly it's like it hit me but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later is this what being kicked in the balls feels like yup <laughs> Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last weekend, we held a party for the Safar Toy Company. And? This company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Did he really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. What else? What else? Uh, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Oh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was the small meat girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. Enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. Signature. Is this Kira Mickey's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar for a bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she always seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high performance computer. Shine Spark! I find myself seeing it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $9.99 a month. Go premium now! That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a pass with the KGB. Who told? Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> Coming right up. That's... <laughs> big, big bad touch. So we'll go ahead, double up on the. Oh, uh, no. That's one too many. That's one. Take. Ha! Ah, bastard. Double up on the ingredients here. And then eight karma train. Oh, uh, the rocks are mixed. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. Yeah, have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. It's such a dirty name. It feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or this thick white liquid. 
That would have skyrocketed the watches at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShinyFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy your premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on MOA on MOA. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shiny Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got big money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's an ND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, uh, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, sounds like you get enough explanation. Let's see. To be honest, though, the model's a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> You know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know. Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with real life. And that being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. Childhood promise? Eh. A religious vow? Uh, what? You're not going to tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sort of. Oh, come on. No epiphany, quarter-life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line. <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... Yes? Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRK SOL, a really old little model. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He's from the time when the collective source was in a cloud storage system. So it wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It's weird, you know. He's the only Lilum I've seen with a clear cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He'd disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. Carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how. Just do it. Okay. Get drunk no matter what. I know exactly what you want. No, that's optional, Karma Train. 
What's the other big one? Let's go with manly drinks. Oh, it's a fringe weaver that yeah, there we go. And then 18 karma train. Alright, there you go. Aged and mixed. So lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak, arms <laughs> This fucking game. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get it on with the lewd stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Alright, well, I think we're gonna leave off today's episode here, right where it's getting good. I'm gonna be that guy. But, we are at our time, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Valhalla. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.